Good morning, Pathless Peddlers. Today we are in Ojai, and today we're gonna ride one of the classic mixed train rides in the area, the Sulphur Mountain Loop. Anyone interested in gravel grinding in the area, they always bring up Sulphur Mountain. So today we're gonna ride it, film it, narrate it, and share it with you guys. And don't forget, if you wanna see more videos like this, to uh, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. So let's hit the road. So we're gonna pass through downtown, cool kind of iconic uh, arcade to the right. And we're gonna cruise through Libby Park and hop on the Ventura River Trail. Seasonality is something to keep in mind. Like during the summer, this would be a fairly hot ride. It gets hot here. So shoulder season or even uh, mid-morning during the winter is great. So some quick vital stats about this ride. The route is 30 miles long and has about 3,000 feet of climbing. So it's not a super long ride, but you do want to have your climbing legs. But what we like about it is it's, it seems like it's a perfect length to do in the morning and come back into town for lunch. On our GPS routes, we're gonna start from the Westridge Market where we picked up some supplies. So that's our beginning on our GPS link. So the first part of this route is actually seven miles down the Ventura River Trail, which we made a whole separate video on. So I think I'm actually gonna fast forward, start the camera back up when we actually get to Sulphur Mountain Road. So let's jump to Sulphur Mountain Road. I am ready to go <laughs> climb a hill because it is really cold. <laughs> so we, we've gone about 7.63 miles from the market, so roughly about seven miles down the trail. And at this point, we're gonna cross uh, Highway 33 and hop onto Sulphur Mountain Yay. and start climbing. All right, let's get going. Leaving the bike path and gonna cross the highway. Yay, we made it. All right, so it took some doing, but we crossed the highway finally. So this is the start of the Sulphur Mountain Road. At some point, uh, I believe it gets closed off to cars, turns into gravel. So it's a gate and a little portage here. Cool. So one of the reasons we wanted to uh, film this route is because we've heard a lot about it, but there's actually very little documentation online about it. And here it turns to dirt. Cool. It's a pretty nice surface. And just to give you a sense of the grades, it's about 7%. In terms of tires, <laughs> I think at least a 35. <laughs> some knobs. I mean, you could do it on a road bike, but it'd be a slog in some parts. It's a lovely climb. Oh my God. Spectacular. There's so many switchbacks. I mean, it's pretty cool. In terms of gearing, what we've got are mountain doubles. Spectacular? It's, yes, it's spectacular. Yeah, there's lots of great like mountain paved climbs, but you're always contending with traffic. And this, you get a very similar experience uh, with no traffic. And one thing I absolutely love about the profile of this ride is that do all this climbing, and then it's like literally all downhill in town. This is about three miles from the trail, and we've climbed 666 feet. <laughs> and it's really opened up up here. All right, so we just broke a thousand feet of climbing, yay! <laughs> all right, what do you think? A thousand feet. I was, I was gonna say spectacular. Just rolling hills for like days. See all the way out to the ocean, the kind of climbing that I really like. Overall, it's fairly mellow. Nothing so hard that you're like overly focused on the act of climbing. There you go. Peanut butter. This would destroy your derailleur and your hope fairly quickly. One challenge to this ride is uh, water, especially during the summer. We're getting close to 1,800 feet above sea level. Probably top out over 2,000 and some change. It's like the world just falls off to the right here. Oh, do you? <laughs> We're almost at 2,000 feet above sea level. <laughs> it looks pretty wicked from up here. Big wide views, no traffic. We've climbed over 2,000 feet. This is the point of the ride when you start dreaming about a very large burrito at the end of the ride. So we are at 
almost 2,300 feet above sea level. There's another little gate to cross and a contemplation bench right there. Okay, view. So I guess we've reached the end of the lock gate section. Here's another kind of bike gate thing. All right, we're gonna start the descent and uh, take it pretty mellow because it's getting kind of gusty with this afternoon breeze. Ready? Ready. Looks like we got a little bit more climbing. That was a dip in the saddle back there. A little bit more up. We'll probably top out at almost 2,800 feet. So that's it for this riding video of Sulphur Mountain Loop. If you guys like the video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want more videos like this, let us know in the comments. Give a like, share it, and uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Now for the rest of the downhill.